Good morning, everyone. It is almost the beginning of the school year. Holy moly. Oh, I left my keys in the car. Um, it is almost the beginning of the school year, and we have a meeting this morning at another school. I think it's our sister's school. So we have a meeting this morning, and they are giving us breakfast, which is even way better. So I'm very excited about that. And um, afterwards, I will be in my room getting some things done for the rest of the day. So, very excited about that. I cannot wait to have my kiddos come on Wednesday. It's going to be so much fun. Um, lots of things planned. So, I can't wait to share it with you guys. I hope you are having a really great week so far. And I will talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Why not? Huh? Why do you have a pouty face? <laughs> it's wet. Oh no, what are you going to do, Blaine? Look at that little lip. So sad. Aww. But you'll be okay. Okay, so it's literally the end of the day and I have not vlogged at all. I am so, so, so very sorry. Um, it's been a crazy day. So here's what I've done today. Um, got up really early and that was hard and at that point we had a kind of like meetings and stuff so we went to a different like a sister school we had a breakfast we had our meetings then I went home and my husband had a little surprise for me so I'm gonna roll a little clip that I videotaped because I have a surprise for all of you too um that I taped this weekend so here it is my stage wow okay so do you want to see it in my classroom I know you do because this is so exciting so as you saw from that clip I have a stage in my classroom and I'm so excited about it here here it is um now my husband and I both thought, okay, we're missing something. This is definitely missing something. And we haven't quite figured out exactly what's missing. But it has like non-skid, so it's like grit. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's grit. It's got like a texture to it um, so that the kids don't slip and fall from it. So, I mean, and it's pretty tall too, which is really, really cool. But I have a stage. So, so excited about my stage. Wanted to throw that out there. I mean, how cool is that to be able to, you know, have your kids, like have a group of kids who've been working on a project or they want to present something and they want to share something that they've really been doing and having them go up onto the stage and present that, that's a really big thing. And plus, I feel really cool when I'm on it. So, I mean, I want to be awesome. Went home, helped him load that up into his truck so that he could bring it to me today, and he did. He brought it a little bit afterwards. And then I stopped at the dollar store because I had to get some things to finish up for our Olympic theme. So I got some things to finish up for our Olympic theme. If you guys haven't already checked out my back to school like Olympic unit game, definitely go and check it out. It's super fun. I know the Olympics are over, but you can incorporate this into anything. It could be athletics. It could be... Um, fitness or anything I mean it gets kids moving it gets them excited and I mean it's fun so definitely go and check it out if you have not already um so yes so I just finished putting up all the decorate well not all the decorations some of the decorations in my partner teacher's room because she has way more space than I do I don't know if you guys noticed but I have a lot of stuff in my room sorry about that so we're gonna do a lot of things in her room while we're doing like things as a big group um so went and did that um, and then I kind of worked a little bit, crossed off some things off my checklist, didn't get a lot crossed off, but I did. Um, if you have not already checked out my cousin's game, it's Jenga Talk, um, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link down to that below as well, but this is something that we're going to be doing the very first day of school. So like along with our Olympic stuff and teaching iPads, which we already have to do, this is Jenga Talk. And you can find the little mini ones at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to take these home and paint them so that it'll match this. But then we're going to do this at the very end of the day 
um, on the first day of school. So it's just something fun for the kids to do. Um, here's like we're gonna have a player's profile that the kids are gonna come in in the morning and complete on the first day of school so they'll have that this is part of my Olympic Games unit so one of the games is to complete a Mad Lib um, and what they do first is they come up with different you know like an emotion a verb plus ED um, nouns adjectives that type of thing um, they complete this then they go in and fill it out so they can see what their paragraph um, ended up being I also have a link to you guys asked me about my reader survey I have this done and it comes along with the reader survey and it has the parent survey in it too and then I added one that's called the learner survey so during my snack on the first day my kids are also going to complete this which is really nice because it's like I like to work and it has different ways that they like to work I learn best by um, I am learning um, when I am learning I need when I need help I and just different things that tell me about how they like to learn so that's another thing that they're gonna be doing um, along with that profile they're going to create a little face of them so I have the little faces and this is in my champion or back to school games packet um, and then it has the little body too so they get to decorate their little body it's just nice because this is something that's gonna be easy to put up in the hallway and have it up right away so they already sense that it's kind of like you know it's their room that's important to me so I wanted them to feel welcome and I want them to feel like it's their room so these are just some of the things that I'm doing on the very first day um, we also have to do a lot of iPad lessons and digital citizenship and that kind of thing and all of those We're gonna do those together and she's gonna cut my partner teacher is going to kind of take the reins on that Okay, so some of you asked me about partner teachers while I'm thinking of it so Some of you are thinking oh is she in your room? I have my own room. She is actually right next door to me She's across the hall next door to me and when I say partner teacher it's because she teaches the other subjects that I don't teach so I only teach ELA which is language arts so reading and writing pretty much okay that's all I teach and then for the second part of the day you know our kids are gonna we're gonna mix them up make it fun um, but she teaches math science and social studies so when the kids are not with me they're learning math science and social studies when they are with me they're learning reading and writing we don't share rooms um, but we will do some things together just to kind of build that community so I hope that makes sense and I hope that clarifies some of the stuff that you guys have okay moving on so I wanted to show you that I did finish and do a new bulletin board and I said that I was gonna do this for writing but I just on Saturday I literally came and I sat in my desk and I did nothing because I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do so here's what I've done and the person who did this this is a unit from TBT the person who did this is literacy for big kids she's wonderful if you have not already seen her on Instagram I love her but she had these and it comes like in this big little unit big little unit on a mon that's awful anyway so it comes in this whole unit and I printed them to where it was four on each page just because I needed them smaller so that I can fit all of my kids on there um, so I mean it's small enough for them to be able to put a sticky note but I think I'm just gonna have them use vis-a-vis -vis. but it's just a fun way to see what everybody is reading and I can easily just take a glance and see how much they're progressing or if they're progressing at all so my kids are gonna get to feel the fill this in now I also saw like Miss Fitz she had like some on hers where it was book recommendations and just some other different things and I might add something like that over here on this side as well just so that my students have access to that and can um, recommend some of those so that was just like another little addition that I did um, very excited about that and uh, let me think what else ooh so another teacher had given ooh ow that stuck my toe so another teacher had given me a ton of uh, I mean it's a whole class set of Harry Potter so the Sorcerer's Stone so I'm really excited about having those so I have a whole class set of that so I'm gonna have to definitely use that for something really awesome look at my awesome stage it's so cool oh and I went to the bookstore so I know my battery had died on my last vlog and I think you guys would have seen that today I think it went up today um but I went and bought some books so I'm excited and I want to open up my book so that you guys can see exactly what I got 
and I need to put them up on my rack as well. I feel like I'm rambling a lot. I'm sorry if I'm rambling. It's been crazy. It's a crazy, crazy day. I mean, school starts in two days. Holy moly. I'll sit you right there. Okay. So it was wonderful. So it was this place. I think it was owned by an actual teacher. So I got some different types of books, which I'm really excited about. But I did get more of the boxcar children, which I, which I found that I did have like a couple of these books. But I'm excited that I have more. So now I can add all those to this. You guys had some really great recommendations, by the way. Thank y'all so much for doing that. I'm really excited. Um, I found a, a kind of a small group set of Shiloh. So I'm going to use this to teach it in small group. Goosebump series. I already told you guys that my kids loved Goosebumps. So I definitely needed to make sure that I had this inside of my stack. Sounds really bad right now. Um, I did find like the hatchet. I found some of those. Holes, which is another fantastic read. Um, I found some of those books and I just wanted to get like collections of them so that I could start having sets for small group. Cam Jensen, I got some of those books, which was exciting. So I can add those to this one. Um, I got the Ramona, Beverly Clearly and the Ramona. I have a few of those. I have more Goosebumps books. Oh, the Nancy Drew series. Love Nancy Drew. That was a good one. Oh, and then the Beverly, Beverly Clearly, cl ugh, I can't say her name, Beverly Cleary and the Henry and Beza. So like the there's Ramona and then there's Henry and then there's another one and I can't remember what the other one is. But um, I don't think I got any of those to be honest. So I got more of the Cam Jensen, Henry, Cam Jensen, Nancy Drew. Like I got four bags full of these. My hair is bothering me today. Um, lots of the Goosebumps series. Lots and lots of those. More than Nancy Drew. Oh, Bridge to Terabithia. How many of you love that book? I love this book. Like this book is what got me into reading children's books. Look, love, love, love Bridge to Terabithia. Love it. More Goosebumps. Look at that, there's some more Junie B. Apparently I have a lot of Junie B. Jones and I didn't even realize it. <gasps> Chocolate Fever, how much of you love that book? Uh -huh. More of the Bridge to Terabithia. Oh my gosh, I have like almost a whole class set of that. That, that would be super cool. The Chocolate Touch, it's a good one. I found some of the Magic Treehouse books. I didn't find a bunch of them to be honest. Oh, Ian left his dinosaur book. Um, but yeah, I didn't find a, a whole bunch of them, which was weird. But I guess it's a good thing. That means that kids really like them. So there's Ramona, there's Henry, Bridge to Terabithia, Agoon, um, Chocolate Fever, Nancy Drew, Nancy Drew, Goosebumps, Goosebumps, Henry, Ramona, Boxcar Children, Boxcar Children, Boxcar Children. And then, so I did find a few of the Magic Treehouse, but like I said, I did not find a whole bunch, which was odd, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. Okay, so now, I mean, look how nice and full that looks now, now that I have more books. So I have more Goosebumps. So yeah, it looks pretty good. I can still obviously fill it up and put other books there, but that's okay. I have a meeting in the morning, well, not a meeting. It's more like a little get together too in the morning. So I need to do that as well. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I am in love with my stage. I'm so very, very excited. I feel like this vlog was really, really random and just me chatting at the very end of it. And I'm really sorry about that guys, but you know, it gets a little busy here. So whoopsie. I'm gonna take these home and I'm gonna put these on rings and stick them inside of the little box. So I need some rings. Look at this, this is a hot mess. These were given to me. Oh, 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 oh. I have to go through this because I cannot keep these like this. This is going to drive me crazy. Okay, I have no idea how much I actually recorded because all of a sudden I look up and it wasn't recording anymore. So sorry. Um, okay, so I am going to take the Jenga talk 
cards home so that I can cut them up and put them inside their boxes. So I need to take all the little Jenga boxes with me so that I can get those painted. Um, and then um, we also, I was talking about Pokemon Go. So my partner teacher had the idea of doing like a Pokemon Go for the school. Just as far as like talking about expectations in certain like the different areas of the school. So the kids um, are going to have their iPads and they're going to use QR codes and they're going to go around the school and find the little different Pokemon. And they have to click on, like scan the little QR code and then it tells them, it talks about like the expectations of that specific area. So for me, it was bathroom. And so I talked about bathroom. I said, welcome. My name is Bridges Backman, blah, blah, blah. Hey guys, my name is Bridges Backman. I'm a fourth grade ELA teacher and welcome to the bathroom. So what does it mean to have respect in the bathroom? Lucky for you, there's a poster in every single bathroom. Let's go over the poster. In the bathroom, respect looks like going and returning directly to class, blushing the toilet, putting all paper where it belongs, giving others their privacy, washing your hands when finished. <laughs> So remember, if you forget any of those rules, double check. There's a poster in every single bathroom. All right, now it's time for you to go to find Mrs. Clemens and the front of the school. See you guys later. And then I tell them to go and catch another teacher. So then they have to go to that area and they have to go and catch that teacher. Really, really cute. We're gonna do that the second day on the afternoon because it'll pretty much take up the entire afternoon. So I'm excited about that. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave all this mess here. I know. And then I need to make sure I bring my camera tomorrow. This is a mental note for myself. Bring my camera tomorrow so I can take pictures for the vlog. So, yes. Ooh, I already got these in there, look. Look how pretty that looks. So excited. I'm gonna leave a link down to these as well. Um, love, love, love these. Love them. So I printed them out on vellum paper because y'all transparency paper is not cheap, like for real. Um, so I printed these out on vellum paper, but I'll leave a link down to these where you can find these on Teachers Pay Teachers. So you can go and grab them if you have not already and you have a nice little light box and you don't know what to do with it. These are fantastic, love them. So you will Gosh, that lighting is bad. So yes, you'll definitely need to go and check those out. All right guys, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to vlog later, so I'm gonna end it now. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you thought it was kind of fun, kind of funny, um, a little bit interesting, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, share it out, subscribe, and I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Bye!